Okay, I'm going to start by soldering some sterling silver pieces together. Um, just like we did in class with the copper, I'm going to be using hard solder to start. And remember, you always um, start project that, projects that may have multiple steps um, with hard because hard melts at the hottest temperature and that allows you to um, do other things later on that won't remelt what you've already soldered together. Um, so this is hard solder, it's wire solder, so I'm going to be demonstrating the pick soldering technique. So I'm going to cut up my little um, pieces of solder into little, you know, a couple millimeters long, little short pieces. And I'm going to cut enough so that I have a couple extras. Okay, and make sure your solder is spread out on the block so that they don't melt together when you heat them. Okay, so my little solder pieces are here. I have a pick ready to work with. Um, and at this point you would turn the vent on and make sure your hair is tied back and all those safety rules um, that we talked about in class. Okay, so I'm lighting with my striker. So make sure you can light, you can make a spark with the striker in your opposite hand. And I'm gonna light the torch with my right hand. I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna turn the knob a tiny bit to the left to turn the gas on. So you just hear that um, gas coming out. Aim it um, away from yeah, I can show this better. Um, away from your work. Okay, keep the um, the flame away from the striker a little bit. You don't need to have it really close. And I'm going to slowly start um, heating my piece up. And I did forget to flux, which you never want to forget to do. So I'm going to flux my piece. I should do this ahead of time. So I'm just fluxing everything that's going to be... Um, connecting and then I'm just gonna make sure everything's touching where I want it to be touching okay so I'm gonna heat my piece up to get the flux to um, burn up um, heat up and um, burn the water off a little bit evaporate the water so it's gonna go white and fuzzy and clear eventually and I'm gonna get my solder going so I'm gonna melt one piece of solder until it turns into a little ball. I'm gonna pick it up with the pick and I'm gonna place it onto my hot metal. Get it a little bit hotter first there. Um, and then I can heat it up Oops. until it melts and it just melted quickly. It's harder to see the silver than the copper. But... And each place that, that needs to be joined, I'm gonna put a piece of solder Another one. So when you're um, picking up the solder, you heat it till it turns into a shiny ball. Then you move the flame away and grab it with your pick. And then you place it and it melts into place. Um, and I like to turn my work so I can see what's happening on all different sides. spots to go I want to try to solder this little bail on here the solder is kind of large but the solder is a little too big for this piece There we go. Let's see if I can get it to join all the way. Okay, and then just make sure all your solder looks good. Um, all the connections are solid. Turn your torch off um, tight to the right um, before you put it down. Remember, your work is hot, so you don't want to grab it, so grab it with um, some tweezers. And if it sticks to the block, you can put some water on there. Um, the charcoal block, it usually comes off pretty easily. And then I'm going to grab my piece and I'm going to put it into the water to cool it off and then I'll put it into the pickle pot um, to clean up. Thanks!